If you're new to my channel, I'm just a girl who likes reading romance, fantasy romance, paranormal romance, any kind of genre of romance in general. And I also happen to have cerebral palsy and it would mean the world to me if you would subscribe to my channel. Happy Monday! I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Today's video is going to be five recent reads. I'm going to talk about the five books that I've read recently. The first book is a fantasy book, and I read this because of Jess from Honest Fiction. It's about this boy, this 17 year old boy who part of the royal family, but in this world there's this thing called the hierarchy where people don't have free will. So the hierarchy assassinated this prince's family. So he the prince ran away and the hierarchy thought all the royal family in this story are dead. So the prince runs away, runs away to a different location and he runs away to the or orphanage. He pretends to be someone else. So he's living this life at an orphanage. General comes in and adopts him so he can infiltrate um, a school because the general's brother died at at this academic school and so he wants to know what happened to his brother so he picks the hero to infiltrate that school because they meet when the hero was working at a like prison and where he handles the prisoners and the general saw that he's able to resist the creatures that can take your will so when he sees the hero at the orphanage again he picks the hero to infiltrate this school. I read Aragon by Christopher Paulini. Paulini. And I wanted to read this book because Jen from the book Refuge and Crystal kept talking about this book, so I really wanted to read it. We follow this boy name Aragon and he is a farmer and he lives with his his uncle and his cousin because his mother like abandoned him and one day Aragon finds an egg and that egg hatches into a a dragon, a female dragon. I think her name is Sabine. Ah, Sabine. I can't pronounce it without the audiobook. And all of a sudden, uh, bad men come looking for for this dragon and he basically I think 
Rex Aragon's hometown, his uncle died, and Aragon and Sabine want revenge, and eventually Aragon becomes a dragon rider. The next book I'm going to talk about, I can't really say much because it doesn't come out until March. I have an arc of It Could Have Been, it could have been Us by Kennedy Ryan, and I was going to wait to read this book closer to release date, but Caitlin at the Love Librarian and Tiffany from Tiff Talks Pages kept talking about this book, saying it was really, really good, and I had FOMO, so I, I read the, the book early, and all I can say about this book is I loved it. I gave it five stars. It's about this woman named Soledad who is lost in her identity of motherhood and being a wife and how it, she, she learned how to find her voice again, how to find her power, how to stand in her on her own two feet and essentially her marriage crumbles and she has to fend for herself and it's just her journey of finding who she is without the label of wife and mother and it was beautiful. I was crying and we have the hero jo Judah who is was just there to support her on her journey. It was the way he supported her was so beautiful. And Judah is a father to two twins who have autism and the autism and the autism representation was beautiful. I know this is a very special book to Kennedy Ryan because her son had autism and it was just beautiful. I was crying at the author's note. The last two books is a reread for me. If you don't know, today when this video comes out is November 27th and Caution to the Wind, seventh book in Gianna Darling's Fallen Man series comes out on Tuesday and I am very excited. I love Gianna Darling. I love the Fallen Man series and Jess and Caitlin have the arc of Caution to the Wind and they told me it's very good if you reread these books uh at least Dead Man Walking because it it interconnects so and and I didn't want to get lost so I reread both books and I'm so glad I did. Um Ink Them Lies is about Lily and Nova. Nova is a tattoo artist. He is part of the he is part of the Fallen Man Motorcycle Club and Lily um is his next door neighbor and she has always had a crush on no nova but nova um 
didn't really notice is her until Lily um goes undercover to our rival MC Club because they're into human trafficking and they want to take this other MC Club down. And so Nova's protective instincts kick in and actually Nova's family adopted Lily and her brother uh, brother because her father who lived next door was part was not a good person he her father lily's dad killed her mother so their next door neighbors adopted her and i loved it it was nice to be back with nova and i always and the heroine and dead man walking is about priest and Bea. Bea is the sister of the wife to the MC, the president of the MC, and priest is the enforcer of the fallen man club he takes people out and one day when he punishes a guy from for selling drugs in their territory um he puts some um, explosives in a car but they happens to be there precedes that and he rescues her and he feels so bad because she wasn't supposed to be there. And Bea has always had an interest in priests. She, even though she's like the granddaughter of a priest, she's always had a dark side to her. And she feels this connection to priests. And... Bea develops Bea a stalker. Has a stalker um, in this book. That's all I can say without getting into spoilers. Those are all the books that I read recently. Please let me know if you have read any of these books. I would love to know. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. That would mean the world to me. And I'll see you Wednesday. Bye.